Hey guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to learn Old Lang Syne, the song they play on New Year's every single year. So we're going to learn it on the U bass, but this arrangement also works for bass guitar. So if you like arrangements like these, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe below, and tabs are available on Patreon if you become a patron. So here's the first part. One, two, three. So we're going to start with the 7th fret on the A string, then we're going to play the 7th fret on the D string with the open A string together. Then we're going to play the 6th fret on the D string by itself, then back to the 7th fret, still on the D string. Then we got the 6th fret on the G string, and now we're going to play the open E string with the 4th fret on the G string. So notice my thumbs playing the open E string, and my middle finger on the plucking hand is plucking the G string. Then we're going to play the 3rd fret on the G string by itself, then back to the 4th fret, and then we're going to play the 6th fret, still on the G string. So let's play that together. One, two, three. So here's the next part. So that's going to be the open A string and the 7th fret on the D string together. Then the 7th fret on the D string by itself. Then the 6th fret on the G string. Then the 9th fret on the G string. And then the 11th fret on the G string and the open D string at the same time. So let's do that together. One, two, three, four. So here's the next part. So this is going to start on the 11th fret on the G string. Then we're going to play the 9th fret on the G string with the open A string. Then we're going to play the 6th fret on the G string two times. Then the 7th fret on the D string. Now we're going to play the 4th fret on the G string and the open E string at the same time. Then just the 3rd fret on the G string. Then back to the 4th fret on the G string. Then this time we're going to play a 6th fret and a 4th fret, both on the G string, in that order. So let's play that phrase together. One, two, three. So here's the next part. So this part is the only tricky stretch. We're going to be playing the 2nd fret on the G string at the same time as the 5th fret on the A string. Now you could play this 5th fret on the A string as the open D string, but then it won't sustain when you play the next note. I like holding this out so that when we play the note after that, it's still ringing out. The 2nd fret on the G string with the pointer finger and the 5th fret on the A string with the pinky. We're going to pluck those two strings at the same time. Then we're going to play the 4th fret on the D string two times. Then we're going to play the open E string and the 2nd fret on the D string at the same time. And then the open A string and the 2nd fret on the G string at the same time. So let's do that part together. One, two, three, four. So here's the next phrase. So that's going to be the 11th fret on the G string, then the 9th fret on the G string, along with the open A string. Then we're going to play the 6th fret on the G string two times. 
then we're going to play the seventh fret on the D string by itself. Now we're going to play the fourth fret on the G string and the open E string at the same time. Then the third fret on the G string. Then back to the fourth fret on the G string. So let's play this part together. One, two, three. So now we're going to jump back up to the 11th fret and it's going to sound like this. So that's the 11th fret on the G string again, then the 9th fret on the G string with the open A string at the same time, then the 6th fret on the G string two times, then back up to the 9th fret on the G string, and then now we're going to do the 11th fret on the G string along with the open D string. Alright guys, so the next two parts are a lot like the ending of the first half of the song. So this is going to seem a little bit familiar. Now I'm just going to teach the whole entire last half in one fell swoop since we've already done it before. So this is the 11th fret on the G string, then the 9th fret on the G string with the open A string, then the 6th fret on the G string two times, then the 7th fret on the D string by itself, now the 4th fret on the G string with the open E string together, then the 3rd fret on the G string, then back to the 4th fret on the G string still. Now we're going to go 6, 4 on the G string. And then we're going to do the 2nd fret on the G string with the 5th fret on the A string. Both at the same time. Then the 4th fret on the D string two times. Then we're going to do the open E string and 2nd fret on the D string at the same time. And then last but not least, we're going to play the open A string with the 2nd fret on the G string. So we've already done this phrase before, but since it's the end of the song, it's kind of fun to slow it down dramatically. That very last part, starting from the second fret on the G string and the fifth fret on the A string, it's kind of fun to start slowing down there. So let's play the second half of the song just to get the idea of how this all fits together. One, two, Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas if you're watching this the day that I released it. And if not, Happy New Year. I hope 2019 is treating you well. And please, once again, subscribe below if you want more videos like this. And become a patron for the tabs and for the tabs to a lot of other arrangements. Thank you and I'll see you in 2019.